Good morning, everybody. It's June 4th and it's the day our catalog goes live. So I am coming to you early this morning. I have lots of fun things planned for you. You can kind of see back behind me all kinds of little stacks and things planned to celebrate the new Stampin' Up! catalog today. So let's see if you guys can find me. All right, I see a few people popping on. It's been a while since I've been live. It's been a couple of weeks. I'm excited to be with you again today. Hi, Elizabeth, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Mariah, good morning. Good morning, Cindy. I know some of you had posted you have to work today. Boo, work. <laughs> I know how that goes. But the thing about Facebook Live is that it's recorded and it'll be here indefinitely. And I will put all of today's recordings over on YouTube as well. So um, my plan is to go live three times today, maybe four. We'll see after the kids get home how that goes. But 10 o'clock right now, uh, noon, and then two. So every two hours to start with, and then we'll see. We'll play it by ear this afternoon and see. Um, I've got lots of projects to share with you. All the things that I had um, put in or uh, put out for my live catalog kickoff. I'm going to show you all of those today. Good morning. Hi, Kimberly. Good morning. Hello. Oh, Mariah. Good. I'm glad you were able to sneak in lunchtime already. Yeah, if you're a teacher, it probably is lunchtime. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we're going to start with the in colors. The new in colors are beautiful. They're very different from last year's in colors. Hi, Gina. Good morning, Crystal. Um, they're very different but they are very beautiful. And there's a little snag uh, we have with one of the ink pads that I wanna let you make sure that you know about. Um, what I'm gonna do each time, I'm not gonna just um, go through the whole catalog at once, but I'm gonna um, kind of thumb through and show you the things that I'm gonna show you specifically in each video. So if you have your catalog handy, make sure you get it. Hello, everybody. Um, Hopefully you've had some time to look at it. I will, when I'm done, I will link you over to the Stampin' Up! store specifically so you can find these. I think it's a little bit easier sometimes, even for me, just to go over to the store and type in what I'm looking for to find the item number rather than thumbing through the catalog. But the catalog has thousands probably, hundreds if not thousands of beautiful um, projects that go along with each product. And it's, um, it's an idea book, catalog and idea book. It has lots of ideas for you. So I actually cased a lot of things in here to get ready for my catalog kickoff. So you'll see some of that today. Um, I am gonna give prizes away all day. Um, we're gonna start with a host stamp set for this video. Anybody who wants this host, um, did I say host video, host stamp set? Um, it's called Time for Tags. It matches one of our new punches. Anybody who would like for like to have this stamp set, um, share the video and I will pick a winner at random, okay? There will be other things today, other ways to win prizes, but that's the one right now, okay? All right, I think I'm gonna flip you guys around. Um, and while I do that, I'm gonna tell you also that like Facebook Friday, I am going to give all of these projects that we do today um, free. I'm going to mail them for free to anybody who put, puts in a minimum $30 order um, by next Monday at midnight, just like a normal Facebook Friday. I won't be live this Friday. It's the first day of summer vacation, and we've got actually an appointment at the passport office and all kinds of fun things like that. So I won't be live on Friday. So this will be this week's Facebook Live. Um, and I, the projects that we make, now I'm gonna show you a ton of things today. So I'm not gonna send you everything. <laughs> that would be crazy. But I am gonna do three or four make and takes uh, with you that I will send for free um, with a minimum $30 order. So here's the host code for this week. If you've joined me for Facebook Friday in the past, you know I usually do a PDF and I did not do a PDF for this. Honestly, uh oh, I don't wanna hear myself on my iPad. My daughter's been using it again um, and it's not on mute. I did not do a PDF this time, honestly, because I, didn't know exactly what we were gonna make. Um, I kind of had an idea. Um, I have so many projects already, I didn't know which ones to make with you guys. So I didn't type up a PDF, but what I'm gonna do 
is each time I go live today, I'm going to go over and do a quick blog post with photos and the products that you'll need, okay? So be looking for that. It'll just be different. The summer is going to be totally different. Facebook Fridays are going to be different just so that I can keep my sanity. Um, and they're going to be a little less formal. You know, I like to do things formal. I like to have things typed up and prepared. But this summer, we're going to, we're going to be a little more laid back, all right? So we're starting that today. Okay, so let's talk about the end colors. We have Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, Terracotta Tile, Purple Posy, and Rococo Rose. My favorite is Rococo Rose, followed closely by Seaside Spray. I really like that blue, um, and I like them together also. Um, I really like Purple Posy, however, we have a snag. Um, early on, when demonstrators were got to pre-order their purple posy we were getting them and everybody was like something's wrong with this ink it's real um bubbly and juicy and so stampin up pulled it and realized there was a quality problem with the ink so they've pulled it um, they want to make sure that what you get in your hands is perfect and they don't want to send ink that's less than perfect out so they've pulled it off the shelf we can't order it they're telling us probably not until july okay so i know that, you know, frustrated, you wanted it, but hey, what are you going to do, right? There's bigger problems in the world that we could get upset about. We're not going to worry about it. Um, but one thing that that does do is, um, let's see, I'm going to pull all the way over. Look at all my tabs. I'm going to pull us over to the in color ordering page. If you like to order your in colors um, together in a bundle and save that 10%, you're not going to be able to do that until that purple posy comes in. Um, here is page 164. You'll see here are all of our uh, new in colors. These are the ones that carried over. And purple posy down here in color ink pads, you save 10% if you buy all five of them. I tried it first thing this morning and you can't even enter that number. I didn't know if they would still let us and send us the purple later, but we can't do it. So. If you want the end colors, you're gonna to have to buy them individually and wait till later to buy your purple posy, okay? Um, now, we have kind of a new chart. I don't know if you guys refer to this chart. I use this chart a lot when I'm ordering, um, but they've kind of condensed it. I like it, it's a little bit easier to read. Make sure you're entering the right numbers. Um, I can't tell you how many times I have accidentally ordered an ink pad when I want a cardstock or vice versa, so make sure that you read the chart correctly. Now, um, there's a great mix of cardstock. If you don't wanna buy a full pack of each color yet, there is the mixed right here in color, uh, 20 sheets, so you get four color for each of the five in colors. And purple, card, purple Posy cardstock is totally available, okay? It's the ink that we can't order in the refill. Um, but there are lots of in color products to go with it. So we have the ink pads. And of course, we have the card stock. Let's lay them out. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to really look at them. There is Pretty Peacock. And I keep, this name's gonna be hard for me because it sounds like soft sea foam. It's not, <laughs> and I keep calling it that. I keep calling it soft seaside, but no, it's seaside spray. It's a blue, light blue. Terracotta tile, very similar to Calypso coral. Rococo rose, um, reminds me of our old regal rose and then here is that naughty purple posy <laughs> it's really i've showed you guys before it goes great with highland heather and our gorgeous grape it's like the next step down it's beautiful um so there are the colors now as always um we have the in color the paper stacks and I want to make sure I show you guys where these in color stacks were because when I was making my long list of what to order this morning um, I forgot to, to do these because here's all the designer series paper these stacks these six by six stacks are on the next page so page 168 and they come just like we had last year except they're different prints which I'm excited about because I was kind of getting tired of those prints we had last year um, you've got the two in color families and then the neutrals bright subtles and regals and if you guys know me you know i use a ton of these so this right here is the in color six by six i think i'm going to call purple posy naughty from now on since it's we can't order the ink it's a naughty color we've got a script and then a little um oh i forgot what that's called what do you call that pattern 
Oh, we had it a few years ago. Anyway, and of course, gingham, because we're all in love with gingham right now. And then we've got a little diamond on the back. You get um, five, is that, no, let's see, four each. So you would get four of these and four of these. It's quite a bit um, with the end colors, because there's only five colors. <clears throat> then here's the script of this, the pretty peacock gingham. I, I'm going to gravitate to that gingham every single time, you guys, every time. Here's that seaside spray. I almost did it. What is that, you guys? Somebody knows. My comments are on silent. Um, what is this? We had a punch that matched it. What am I? What's the word I'm looking for, you guys? Gingham and the diamond script. I really like terracotta tile too. It's a good color. Gingham. Now these colors are designed to go together. Last year, last year's colors, I think it was mosaic. Thank you, Lena. Yes, mosaic. That's right. Um, Last year's colors look like a crayon box. They went together really well. These years, this year's colors aren't designed, they're never really designed to go together to be like a color palette, I don't think. Um, so don't be turned off by that. You know, sometimes together you're like, oh, I don't know. But with other colors, they are beautiful. Rococo Rose, my favorite. All right, and then also in the end colors, are these really cool faceted gems. You guys know I like faceted <laughs> or, or just sequins of any kind. And look, we have like this whole page, page 178 of dots and sequins and gems. Lots of little dots to put on our projects. Um, so here they are, 650 I thought was pretty good. And look at those, those are my favorite, pretty peacock. We'll get to those later. Um, but there, there are the faceted gems is that what they're called faceted dots and then we've got the ribbon the ribbon is so unique um it's unlike anything we've ever had before it's linen and it's scalloped edged it will tie a bow i'll show you when we make when we get to our two projects in just a minute um but it is bulky so you know tying a bow on with this i would not probably put a bow like this on a card but like on a scrapbook page or on a gift look how beautiful that is it is really pretty um but one thing and i used on one of the projects we did with the rooted in nature i just used the back because it's that linen color you know like a crumb cake i love it so there they are in all the colors the ribbon and let's see before i get to this was there anything else ups is here you guys i'm serious are you kidding 10 o'clock in the morning, UPS shows up. He never comes this early, and of course, Charlie's gonna bark. Okay, well, everyone say good morning to Charlie because he's going to make himself quite known in a second. Now, here is the <laughs> other color of paper. It never fails. The other color of, um, the other pack of paper that features are in colors. It's called the Woven Threads Suite, Woven Heirlooms, wo Woven Threads Designer Series Paper, and it, Okay, I'm gonna use this word. I think it's funky, and I love it. It's very different, funky, it's earthy, and it's just beautiful. And if you look at the suite on page 12 and 13, normally I would say this isn't like my style, but I love it. It is awesome. And I'm gonna show you these cards. I actually case these cards for my um, event. I'll, even though I didn't have these beautiful heirloom frame dies, um, I'll show you what I did in a minute. But this paper is, or somehow they magically put in all five of the new colors. So here's this one. Let's see. I think I cut one of each so well, you don't have to turn them over. There's the pretty peacock. I just love that. I like monochromatic papers too. So when they are just all one color, I really like it. Here's this one. Let's see, is that the same? Yes. Okay, so there's that naughty purple. And then um, that's the back side. This one, love it. Rococo rose, a diamond. Um, it reminds me kind of like a Moroccan pattern. Um, <laughs> there was There's a place at Dis in Disney World, if you've been in Epcot, that has um, Moroccan things. And it always, I always think of that whenever I see these kind of patterns. The little, those little doilies, like a linen texture. He's taking forever to get out of the truck, you guys. He hasn't even gotten out of the truck yet. And my dog is going to go crazy. He knows, he knows he's there. There's that one. This one is really good. Just a really good neutral pattern. Here he comes. 
<laughs> All right. Good morning. Hello, Mr. UPS. Yes, he's bringing stamping up. More, more happiness blooms enamel dots for those of you that ordered. Okay, Charlie. Enough. Go. Go. Go night. <laughs> it's hard to get mad at that cute face. All right. He's leaving now. Here's another one that's linen. Sorry if he made y'all's dogs go crazy. I know. Every time he does that, you're like, oh, my dog went crazy. Another little linen. And then that one. So, Mose with heirloom not mosaic now I can't stop saying that word that's the word I couldn't think of heirloom woven thread sweet woven heirloom stamp set the stamp set is very um different too I didn't really think that I would like it but I do here it is let me show you my, ca my cards that I made I cased them because you know when you have to make a whole bunch of samples in a short amount of time guys your case. <laughs> it is going to go way faster than if you try to create from um, scratch. But but like I said, I did simplify them. See this one right here? It has those beautiful, and that was on my first order today, um, those beautiful frames right there. Well, I just used the stitch rectangles. And here is this amazing woven thread. It is going to take me forever to learn all the names. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I, I almost had it right woven threads trim right there there are those faceted gems and see that's that linen paper and i stamped those images on there isn't that beautiful and then here's one i turned it into a full size card and i just made that paper the star you don't need to do a whole lot of stamping when your paper is real busy like that and that trim you guys mm -hmm, beautiful Here's one, now look what I did. We're gonna do this on the card that we make in a minute. I took that trim and just cut off the scallop and made a bow. And it it's not as bulky as it would be if you had, let's see, do I still have that bow or did I untie it? No, I untied it. If you tied the whole bow. Um, here's another one. This one I really simplified. If you'll look right here, that's like an over the top card. No, we just took it down a little bit and made it a little bit easier. Beautiful. There's some lace trim. And then this one I just came up off the top of my head real quick. There's that um, from our uh, stitched, Be Mine Stitched Heart Thinlets. Very, very pretty. Pretty paper. Okay, so there's that. If you're really into those in colors, you got to check out that suite. Now, these cards, I've been showing you these cards um, for a while, I made these for our team meeting. This is what our team uh, made at our team meeting. And our in, my In Color Club will be getting their own card made with the cute little, I always say the wrong name, Above the Clouds stamp set. So there they are in each color. And then um, when I first got them, I pulled out the follow your art set and made a set real quick in in all of the colors really cute one thing I didn't point out about the in colors and I'm excited about this let me pull up this page when I made these cards I was frustrated because I didn't have the blends we couldn't pre-order the blends and so I was trying to watercolor real fast and it was a mess and I was like why don't I have the blends but you can see over here on page 179 that little symbol right there guys means it's new so anything that has that has not been in a catalog before so we've got some new stamp and blend colors including Rococo Rose, Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, and Purple Posy. The only in color that does not come in um, a stamp and blend is the terracotta tile. And my assumption is because these two are pretty darn close. Okay, I think you could make those work if you needed to use a stamp and blend with your um, terracotta tile. Now I have one more thing and then we will make a card. My um, all-star tutorial project this month features the parcels and petals box and that beautiful seaside spray color. Um, and then I made a matching card which you'll see on my blog later on this week. My, the all-star tutorial bundle is 12 tutorials by 12 different Stampin' Up! designers. We each do one and we all use new brand new products this month and it's free with a $50 order. I mail them out, email them out about once a week. All right, just so that you know that that is a freebie you get when you put in an order with me. And here is this month's project. All right, 
Okay. Let's see. I marked a bunch of pages. What did I not tell you? I told you about the ink, the naughty purple. We can't order. We've got that. We're going to do bird ballad. We're going to use bird ballad to make a card. What else did I? Nope, we're not going to do that right now. We're going to do that later. I changed things at the last minute. See what happens when I'm not totally organized. Okay, so bird ballad. We're going to use the bird ballad adorable set to make one of these cards. Now, like I told you, the in colors come in stamp and blends, but we couldn't pre-order them, so I don't have them. So I watercolored these with an aqua painter, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Um, you know, aqua painters are um, a great way to color images. We have stamp and blends, we have watercolor pencils, we have a blender pen that you can use. You can pick up ink from your ink pad, and then we have aqua painters. Um, so that's what I used, aqua painters and ink. And look, there's that ribbon. I'm gonna show you how to cut it down to make it less bulky. And this is the suite that we are using, the stamp set and the um, dies. And if you haven't seen already, I have a class to go that features the bird ballad suite. You get some of the paper, you get a, some of, you get a whole bolt of ribbon, some of the trinkets, and six projects. I'll put that link up here in the video when I am done. So you can check that out if you really love the bird ballad. But let's go ahead and make this card. I'm going to do Seaside Spray because it's, I don't know, Rococo Rose is my favorite favorite, but I like the little birds in the Seaside Spray. I think they're so cute. So what I'm going to do, and actually, I'm going to get a, a block one way. There's, there's several schools of thought to get your ink, and one is to squeeze like this, and you get ink right here in your lid, but some people don't like that. So you can take your clear block and just get some ink there on your clear block, and then you're gonna need a paper towel and an aqua painter. And one thing that I was really having trouble with when I made these cards is I was getting too much water on the images and then it was bleeding out. So you wanna make sure that your aqua painter is wet, but just enough okay not drippy and i like to give the birds a little bath a little water wash before i have stamped them on shimmer white cardstock when you use water you want to either use shimmer white or watercolor paper which we have a new watercolor paper that's different than our previous so i'm anxious to see how that works so see i just pick up that color off of my block and just kind of drop it down into the water that's already there and it's going to create a light color and i'm just going around kind of the outside edges of the birds is that camera moving i need to turn the fan off it's that time of the year where it's so hot in my studio i need the fan on all the time but it makes that camera just kind of roll a little bit all right, so let's do that and we're gonna let it dry. It's better to add a little bit and go back and add more because you can't take it off once you put it on. All right, old olive. Let's, let's do, I'm just gonna use the inside of the lid on this one. You wanna make sure that your aqua painter is clean so you just kind of run it off on your paper towel squeeze it until it runs clean um so shimmer white is what i stamped them on and i cut i cut it out using these my what may end up being my most favorite dies of all time the nested stitched label dies or stitched nested label dies <laughs> i've seen it both ways and I can't remember which is the right way. So it actually is offered as a bundle with these birds. Um, you can get the, the stamps and the dies. Let me show you with the dies. They are a really great set of dies. I use the biggest one for this. Um, and when you buy them together, you save 10%. You can also get them 
in my class that I'm offering, the class to go, which comes to your mailbox. And you, you're you going to save the 10%. That's fixed in the price of the class. But you're also going to get a bolt of ribbon for free when you buy the class from me. Um, now, if you already have the stamp set, I am offering the make and takes um, option as well with the ribbon and the trinkets and the designer series paper because you'll need those for your projects. And I prepare them all and they're all um, packaged nice and neat for you and they arrive in your mailbox ready for you to create your projects. And they come with a PDF tutorial and there's six, six projects this time. There are four cards and two 3Ds. All right, so since I'm trying to make this an in-color monochromatic card, we are staying with the Seaside Spray there on the flowers. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more ink and go just around the bottom. See where those little hash marks are? Oh, I forgot a leaf right there. I forgot. I'm going to add some more color there. I There's lots of, there's lots of ways to shade. But when I see a hash mark that Stampin' Up! has added to the image, <laughs> I go for it. I say, okay, we're going to just add the shading right there. It makes it a little bit easier. And their bellies, we're going to leave a little bit light right there. All right, let's go back and add. Okay, we can't leave that. Um, we cannot leave that leaf right there. Just white. It needs to be colored in. All right, there. Now we're gonna set that aside to dry for just a few minutes. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for sharing the video. I am giving away a great prize today. Uh, host a set. If you like prizes, share the video. All right, I've got a soft seaside, soft, nope, I did it. Seaside spray card base, a four and a fourth by 11 piece of cardstock that I have, um, scored at the in the middle at five and a half and I'm going to take the flower that's from the bird ballad stamp set and some seaside spray and stamp these flowers all the way around okay some of them are going to be hanging off like that now I'm going to put a piece of vellum right here in the middle just to kind of soften that and make it a little less busy and this vellum piece is four and three fourths by three and a half i will have these measurements on my blog when i'm done i'm going to sit down and i'm going to type this the measurements and the supply list into the blog post okay and it'll all be linked now there's lots of ways to apply vellum and i'm going to show you one way that i don't do very often if you get your silicone sheet and some Tombow liquid glue and a Stampin' sponge and you want it really light, so just kind of spread it all around. You don't want big globs and just kind of add some to your vellum. And if you see it, spread it out. You don't want to see it. Just enough to give it a little bit of stick. And we're going to put that right there in the middle like that. Now my fingers are sticky. <laughs> I wiped that off with my fingers. I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Thanks guys. I appreciate it. Now we're going to add a little bit of DSP, which has become elusive because my desk is a mess. And this is again from that designer series paper stack that I showed you the end color. Look, you guys, what's happening? I have I have dimensionals stuck to me and stuck to my snail. Ah! Okay, this is a one and a fourth by four piece of that DSP. I'm gonna put it here. And then I have a three fourths of an inch by three and a half inch piece. Of, nope, we wanna put the adhesive on this side of the same DSP and I'm gonna put it right there. All monochromatic. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it all the way to the edge because we're gonna cut that off. And it still looks like it's a little bit wet, so I better be careful. Let me dab off that little, there's a little water drop there. And 
We need to cut that off. I think I'm going to cut it before I put it on my card. So I'm just going to take it and cut it right at the edge of those flowers. When I stamped it, I stamped it over to the right side so that I could cut some of it off. Now, where are those dimensionals that were sticking to me? They wanted to get used, so they're getting used right there. And then, hello everybody that's just joining, thank you. Oh, Trisha, <laughs> just wait till you see my swaps, because you're looking at them. I know, our team is doing a swap, an in-color swap this month. So, great minds think alike, Trisha. Now, I'm gonna take this ribbon. Remember, you can always tie a bow with it, but I think it's a little too bulky for a card. So, I'm gonna take my best scissors, whatever your best scissors are, and I'm gonna cut all the way up like that along the edge. You can do right along the scallop edge, or you could do in the middle. I think for those I did in the middle, and I think for this one, we'll do right along the scallop. Let's see, do we think that's long enough? So now you've got this tiny, skinny, narrow ribbon that's perfect for a card, and so cute with that scalloped edge. Trisha, are we in the same swap group? I wonder. I don't know, but I need to get those done. Our team, um, does a swap every month. We've got a great swap coordinator, Miss Anne Marie. I don't know if she's on here this morning. And she is an amazing swap queen. And she will swap us all and we'll all have different cards. All right, so I've made the bow and now I'm just gonna put it right down here. Ta-da! So pretty. So if you don't like watercolor, order the blends. If you don't mind watercolor, Use your watercolor, your aqua painter, or your um, blender pen. All right? All right, so there's that first make and take. But wait, let's do one more. With one in color mixed with another color. And this is the card that we made. This was our make and take at Saturday's BOGO event. And it's that Rococo Rose, and it looks like it could be Seaside Spray, but it is not. See how different they are? This is um, Balmy Blue. And the reason I went with Balmy Blue is because I wanted to use some of the Designer Series paper, this stripe. It just was very fresh and, um, I don't know, bright. And I was thinking of the sky and the clouds for our little hot air balloon. It is from the... Mm, what's the name? The nautical set. Can't think of it. The nautical set. So that's what we used. All right. So let's make this card. This is a really quick and easy card. Just a um, four and a fourth by 11 inch piece of balmy blue with a three by five inch piece of DSP. And we're just going to do a little bit of stamping here. This is here we go again with that. Look, it's the same one, right? Same one, except this time it's in Whisper White. And we're gonna stamp the Rococo Rose Heart. This set is called Above the Clouds. And it has a punch, we love punches. All right, so let's do Rococo Rose Hearts. Kind of on the side and down here. We're gonna put that big circle on there so we don't need to do too many. There we go. And then here's the little, this is a large stitched circle that I have cut from Crumb Cake. And we're gonna do the birds over here in Crumb Cake. And then we're gonna do, actually I did it twice, didn't I? Let's do it twice, like that. And then the, hi friend, I'm gonna do that in Rococo Rose like that. Okay, now let's close that, make sure we have new disasters. We're gonna take the, the hot air balloon. Where did it go? Is it not here? Oh, here it is. I was gonna say, how could I forget the hot air balloon? We're gonna do this stamp right here. 
in Rococo Rose on Rococo Rose cardstock. And we're gonna put the little pennants across. Aren't they cute? Now, let me show you the punch. The punch does the, the balloon, and it does the little basket also, and the pennant. Now, you there are ways that you can set your, um, you know, your balloon and this here so that they punch out at the same time, but I didn't do that. I just did it by itself. If I was gonna do a bunch of them, I would have set that up, but you'll see. We'll have to punch it separately. All right, so let's punch the balloon. There we go. And then we're going to bring this over here. And we're going to have to trim off a little bit to get it to stick into our punch. Rococo Rose ink on Rococo Rose cardstock. Ah! There we go. Oh my gosh. You guys, the catalog wasn't supposed to be live until 1 o'clock this afternoon. And I had several big things I needed to put in my... Um, paper share, ribbon share, and my in color club, and then another thing. And so I had all that planned out for this afternoon, but then when I got up this morning, I realized it was live, it was already up. So I skipped my morning exercise and put in all my orders. <laughs> Oops. So my exercise this morning was like this. Tap, 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 tap. I think it was worth it and I expedited some of it overnight, so that means it'll be here tomorrow morning. Yay. All right, I need a mini dimensional for that little basket. Let's grab that. And we'll put that one right there. And then we're gonna do the same kind of bow that we did with the other one, and I already have it cut. Ooh, it looks kind of short, I don't know. Let's see. I like also when you leave some of the linen colored part inside of it, you know, instead of going along the edge of the scallop, you get these little frayed, these little frayed edges like this. And I like that. I like that look a lot. All right, now glue dots. And where did I put it? Right there on the hot air balloon. How cute. This little set, this hot air balloon set also comes as a bundle and you save 10%. So I will show you at the front of the catalog, I really like how they have um, put the bundles up front so we can find them easily. And that is uh, where I started making my first order list <laughs> was from that page with all those amazing bundles. All right, there we go. So there's two projects that you'll get with any qualifying order this week. I will send them out next week. I wait until it closes and then I cut them all. I think we're going to have two more that go with this. Um, one today around noon central. I'll be live again. And then another one around two o'clock central. Okay. Now before you go, before you go, don't go yet. I have got to show you where that balloon above the clouds bundle is. See right here at the beginning of the catalog, page four, it starts showing you the bundles. And this is where you save that 10%, that there's a different number. Don't enter them individually. You wanna enter the, the bundle number. So the here it is, above the clouds bundle right here, $36 for those two. And that's a really good place to start. If you're having a hard time narrowing down your list, uh, I think those are great. Um, if your list, you guys, is over $100, you really need to consider that starter kit. The starter kit, and it's in the back, you can read about it. I will link it here in the video too. The starter kit is $99 free shipping, and you get $125 of product, anything you want in there. And then every order you put in after that, you save 20%. So if you were gonna get that bundle, you would save the 10% because it's a bundle, and then you would save your 20% on top of that. So then you would be really getting 30% off. It's an amazing deal. There really is no catch, you guys. People are always like, well, what's the catch? No catch, just a really great deal. It's like becoming a preferred customer um, where you get uh, a discount because you order so much, and uh, you get you know early access to the catalog. You get perks that... Um, 
you know, from being on my team. I'm, I'll link all that up here in the video if you're interested. You can always reach out to me and ask questions. All right, you guys, that's it for now. Um, hopefully UPS won't come again <laughs> today. Um, but join me again at noon. I will have another prize. I will have another project and some more fun. And here is the prize for sharing this video. All right, you guys, I will see you in about an hour and a half. Thanks for joining me. And let me know if you have questions. Bye.